Hey everybody, Luis Diot von Arena here. Not long ago, we sang the oaths and praises of the most color accurate smartphones you can buy. But today, we're going to spell the gloom and doom of the 10 most color inaccurate smartphones we've rounded up for you. Surprisingly, the lineup covers not only low end to mid range devices, but there is also a substantial selection of flagship smartphones in there. Watch this video, you might be surprised. We're kicking things off with the LG Optimus L12 Duo. It has a color temperature of 57,121 Kelvins. What the heck? Colors on this display look vivid and generally nice when you look squarely at the display and that's very important. However, as evidenced by the exorbitant color temperature, this display is very far from perfect. Viewing angles are horrible and colors wash out hugely when you tilt the device just ever so slightly. We're moving on to the Gigabyte G-Smart Auto A2. It has a color temperature of 32,261 kelvins, which is pretty mind-boggling as well. This phone's display has a clearly perceptible cyan tint to it. It really is one of the worst we've seen. What makes matters worse, however, is the absolutely horrible viewing angles, both vertical and horizontal. Said otherwise, even ridiculously minimalistic changes in your point of view have a detrimental effect on how you see the screen. It's so bad, really, that you could be keeping a perfectly stable angle and still notice discrepancies in the quality between the top and bottom parts of the display. Third, we have the Alcatel OneTouch Fire. It's a low-end device and its display exhibits a low-end color temperature of 23,571 kelvins. The 3.5-inch TFT screen on the Alcatel OneTouch Fire is barely possible, though this is somewhat justified by the phone's budget price point. While we are far from simply dismissing a display simply because of its compact proportions, there is a point to be made here about the annoying persistence of low-resolution, color inaccurate panels in low-end devices. Viewing angles are average at best and outdoor visibility is problematic. Fourth, we have the Acer Liquid Z3. It has a stone cold color temperature of 19,293 kelvins. The TFT screen on the Acer Liquid Z3 is perhaps its biggest weakness. While size preferences are certainly subjective, the Z3's 3.5 inch display is definitely far from the norm as far as Android devices go. And while we can definitely understand that some people simply prefer compact phones, there's no denying that the low resolution panel on display here is edging on the sanitary minimum. Fifth comes the HTC Desire 310. It has a color temperature of 18,960 kelvins. What's terrible about the screen is its extremely cold color temperature, which results in some very bluish whites and grays. What's more, color reproduction is completely off, with pretty much every primary or secondary color showing sometimes downright critical discrepancies between target and actual colors. This issue is especially noticeable with green, magenta and cyan. Number 6 we have the Oppo Find 7. It has this weird color temperature of 10,371 kelvins, which also happens to be the largest deviation from the reference white point we've ever recorded on a flagship phone. The screen on the Find 7 is way too cold, guys. Not only are the whites not white at all, but rather blue, it's also all the other colors that appear cold and lifeless, especially when put next to a normal color correct panel. The colors themselves are rather off the mark, and that goes especially for the blue range, and just like that, it goes for the reds as well, too. Seventh, we have the Sony Xperia Z3. It also has this weak color temperature of 10,324 kelvins. Again, this is very far from the reference 6,500 kelvins white point, which makes the screen look very, very cold with abundant bluish or greenish overcast. You can change the screen's white balance from the display settings menu, and Sony argues that the coldness is deliberate, and it even threw in some stats about people's perception of cold screens as brighter. But the fact is that the Xperia Z3 is off the reference white mark by default and significantly at that. Moreover, the greens and reds are somewhat oversaturated and all colors are widely off the reference marks for the standard RGB gamut. 
8 we have the Huawei Ascent P7 with its color temperature of 8405 kelvins. This is again quite the deviation from the reference point and on this phone whites seem actually blue. Happily that's about the worst thing we can say about this phone's display. Nint we have the Motorola Moto G, more precisely its last year version. Its display exhibits the color temperature of 8008 kelvins. Thanks to its calibration there is some vibrancy splashed on which is a result from the faint hint of saturation in the color reproduction. And finally look who we have here, it's the Samsung Galaxy S5. Its critically louded display has this color temperature of 8183 kelvins which suggests some rather cold visuals. When we switch to the professional photo display mode things get substantially better with the average temperature dropping to 7200 kelvins which is a decent figure but still not close enough to the reference value. In addition on this display most things appear just a tad darker than they should, red is lacking and activating the so-called cinema display mode makes the measured numbers just a bit better but the display starts to look lifeless so things aren't looking very good for the Galaxy S5's display. Don't let that discourage you though, it's a wonderful phone. This is Luis from Phone Arena, thanks for watching.